Hello and welcome. Kendra Morgan here for TLC Designs. Today I'm sharing a fun trifold peekaboo window card that I created using the brand new Furniture Staples digital stamp set along with the peppermint paper pack from the new release. I've also used the Christmas tree from the Snow Family Fun Tree digital stamp set and the Loving Petals die set. The Furniture Staples digital stamp set includes a bunch of different types of furniture and I wanted to create a living room scene with the Christmas tree in front of the window. I used the gray pattern paper from the digital peppermint paper pack as the background and I layered up my images using Silhouette Studio and I used the Loving Petals square die set to create the window on the front. So I needed to make this scene big enough to show part of the tree and for the square die to fit. So this is a five by seven card and I'm using these pearlized A7 cards that I got on clearance from Michaels for my card base. And I'll need two of these since this is a trifold card. So the first thing I'm gonna do is color my image and I'm using some Copic markers. I'm gonna start with coloring the tree using G29, which is pine tree green, to color all along the edges and where there should be shadows and also to add some flicks in the center to make it look like sprigs all throughout the tree. Now I'm using my lightest shade, which is G21, and I colored the whole thing in, and then I added more flicks of uh, color from G24. Then I came back in with my darkest shade, G29, to fill it in more and blend everything. For the trunk of the tree, I used E59 and E55. And then for the ornaments, I used RV69, which is like a dark burgundy color. And then I used RV34 also. And then I brought in some yellow, which and for the, for the yellow, I used Y02 and Y00. So next, I started on the curtains. I used the same RV69 to start, 
and then here in a bit I come in with some RV 34 but I basically made the entire curtains look like deep burgundy but it does have some shading in there On the bottom left curtain, I accidentally went outside the lines. So I'm using my colorless blender to try to push that color back up into the curtain. Next, I used C3, which is a light gray color, to color the lamp stand. And then I used C7 on the base of the lamp. And then for the lamp shade, I used RV34 to color in the shadowed areas. And then I used RV21 as my lighter shade to add to the rest. And I used that same color to color in all of the flowers everywhere on the lamp, on the picture, on the chair, on the curtain pulls, and even on the curtain rod. So for the shadows, uh, I used C7 on the shadows of the rod and then C1 to fill in the rest and also to add shadows to the chair. And then for the picture frame, I used C7 and C1. Now for the floor, I'm using a T ruler to figure out where my line needs to be drawn. But first I marked where I needed to trim off the ends so that this will fit on the card base. But I want this to be centered. So I used the tree trunk as my center point and I measured three and a half inches on each side and marked it with my pencil. And then I marked my point just above the curtain and this should measure five inches. And then I trim this down and cut off an eighth of an inch on each side so that it will have a quarter of an inch all the way around. So basically this should measure four and three quarters of an inch by six and three quarters of an inch. I'm using my T ruler again to draw a line with my pencil where I want the ground to be. And then after having that where I wanted it, I traced that pencil line with my E59 Copic marker. And then I decided to draw wood grain lines using that same color, <clears throat> which is the darkest brown. And then I filled that in with E55.
And then I just came back through and I added some more finishing touches on some of the spots that I missed earlier. So like I said before, this is a trifold card. So I am taking two of these pearlized card bases and in order for one of the base or one of the cards to fit inside of the other one, I need to trim just a little bit off of one of them. So I'm taking a little less than an eighth of an inch off on the open edges. And then that way this will fit perfectly in here. Now this living room scene will go on the front on this inside piece. And then for the outside of the card, I need to cut out the window and I'm gonna use this glitter paper to cut out the frame. And to make sure that I get the window piece centered, um, again, using my T ruler to find my center point and I'm marking it with my pencil. And since this window die is a square, I can eyeball this and try to put the die on top, leaving the dot exactly in the center. And then once I think I have it where it needs to go, um, I can use my ruler to measure and make sure that I have the same distance on all four sides from that center dot. Now I'm using some low tack mint tape to hold the die in place while I run it through my Gemini die cutting machine. And you want to make sure that you open this up before running it through your machine. You don't want it to be closed or you'll be cutting a hole through both sides. So here I'm just making sure that it's exactly centered still. And this is what the scene will look like with it placed inside of the card. So you'll only see a portion of the tree peeking through the window on the front. And so next I cut out the frame and the inside window from this burgundy glitter paper. And I also used a couple of dies from my stash to cut out the Merry Christmas sentiment and a glitter frame for that. Plus I cut out the inside sentiment that says from my family to yours. And just so you know, the Merry Christmas sentiment is from the Snow Family Fun Mail digital stamp set and the other sentiment is from the Snow Family Fun tree digital set and I'll have all of this listed in the description box below with links in case you're interested and so next I glued the card that was trimmed to the inside of the other card so that it will open from the top and then I glued down my colored scene on top of that and then the glitter frame to the front of the card and then next I glued down the sentiment So after looking at this, I decided that the back side of the window needed a frame too. So I used the pink pattern paper from the same pa pepper, <laughs> my goodness, this is like a tongue twister, peppermint paper pack to cut out another frame. And then I glued this down as well. And then I added the from my family to your sentiment just below the frame. Next, I took some icy glaze stickles glitter glue and I traced the garland all around the tree. And then I added some Nouveau Crystal Drops in Morning Dew to the ornaments to make them shiny because that dries clear. As you can see, I had a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of extra Icy Glaze Stickles Glitter Glue come out, so I had to use my spatula and scrape some of that off. So luckily I was able to salvage it. And then to finish off the card, I added some silver enamel dots, silver glitter enamel dots to the insides of the flowers on the frames on both the inside frame and on the outside frame. So here is the finished card. This is the view from the front. And then here is a picture of it opened up 
and there's still plenty of room on the inside to write a personal message. I really love how this turned out. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Now be sure to check out all of the other new release products on the TLC Designs website. I will have those linked below along with the other products that I used to create this card. I also wanted to mention that the first annual seven day holiday card series on the TLC Designs YouTube channel will premiere on December 1st and it will run through December 7th of 2021. So make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.